Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're making a carrot and ginger soup with simple ingredients which are so here we have carrots we will peel or we will wash them very well and chop here we have a thumb size of ginger which will peel and grate we have one white onion which will peel and slice we have a few cloves of garlic they are small cloves of, the, of garlic um here we have cumin and himalayan salt so it's a matter of preparing all this um the carrots here i have my sufuria which i'll use in cooking so here we go we have prepared them already grated the garlic and the ginger um this is like two tablespoons i have onion and carrots and yes our seasoning so i'll be pouring a small amount of oil i've already added the onions the ginger and the garlic i'm using oil because um carrots are rich in vitamin a and vitamin a is fat soluble so that's why it's optional you can choose not to you can choose to use coconut cream instead or cashew milk or cashew cream so i'll be sauteing this um for two minutes till they have begun cooking and trans become translucent and here as you can see that has happened next i'll be adding um, my carrots once i've added the carrots we'll add water water enough to cover um, the carrots we need the carrots to cook until they become soft not so mushy but at least soft because we'll blend them so here i've added the water and at this point i'll also add my salt and cumin you can use turmeric if you desire to enhance the color but i'm just keeping it plain and simple you can also use paprika and other seeds as well so i'm covering this and i'll give it like 10 to 15 minutes for it to come to a boil and to soften the yeah carrots and here they have become soft they're fork tender they're so soft all we'll do we'll now put out the fire and sieve preserve this water we'll need it all i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, process this you can use a blender instead and if you use the blender just use it with the water you have used in boiling the carrots so after processing this this is how it came out um soft now add the water that you had uh, separated from it and return it to the fire to cook a little you can adjust the consistency the way you desire if you want to add more water if you want it to be more runny just add water and allow it to simmer a little so that's how we went about this and just for two minutes and it was ready and this is how it's looking very soft very smooth as I've said, you can adjust the liquids. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to eat to the glory of God. This is a good recipe for children. Bye.